Jimmy Jam Hard Monday fasting fitness and uh, a whole bunch of other items on the list that we can talk about on the way in feeling good today and it still kind of feels like Monday I'm still trying to figure out that Monday mystique and I think it's just as I mentioned before it's Monday for most people and that Monday vibration kind of gets into my vibrations and I'm feeling oh yeah man it's Monday it's upper body day we came back from our three-day break for uh, exotic Saturday and I think the the uh, break did us good we'll see once we get in it's upper body day chest work shoulder work maybe I'll be able to throw in some leg work and abs work we're transitioning from bulking season into bodybuilding season if you remember I'm dealing with the the idea of calling myself a bodybuilder and doing more bodybuilding exercises but bulking isn't over yet and what is that transition going to be like I can't tell you you just have to stick with this series and see what it is so we're um, we've been doing chest exercises with dumbbells to get stronger and have more balance and a little bit safer don't have to worry about not being able to get the uh, bar off of the chest when going very heavy we have the ego pretty much in check we're not showing off for anybody trying to push ourselves too high too fast and risk injury so we have to remind ourselves of that walking into the gym feels like we have the dehydration issue under control Should probably drink about eight to ten ounces of water even before I get out of the spot so yeah that's the update this might be a pretty long one today because uh, there's a bunch of issues I wanted to address just in case you're having similar issues and now let's get into the gym do our thing you'll have the report right after this message I think I figured out the monkey bars protocol for at least the first quarter of 2023 and while we walked the bars much of the last quarter of last year we're not going to be doing that as much this year it's more about holding the pose while doing the pull-ups and um, doing them different ways with the with the towel behind the neck but always with the legs extended in that L sit this is going to build the core this is going to strengthen it and with strength comes control so I hope you'll join me for monkey bars business this was without a doubt the strongest hard Monday of the series my friends 100% day we had it going on we had the energy was high the strength was high higher than normal and we got some new highs in high Monday we'll call this one <laughs> just for this Monday though so we pushed up a little bit higher in the uh, dumbbell press not an all-time record but a record for since I've been going to this gym down here and we did the same with pullovers we uh, boosted it up a bit the dumbbell pullovers and uh, quite psyched about that I must say so what do we attribute this 
performance to? Could it be the fasting? Could it be the break? Could it be the birthday? I'm actually another number higher in this. Uh, I don't know. Probably a combination of all of them. So, and it continues to work. Progressive resistance continues to work. And while I'm psyched about boosting up my numbers down here, I'm still far off from where I was in my uh, strongest year. So, anything I do down here are local records, not all-time records. I think it might take me another five years, if ever, I'm going to get to where I was, uh, was it 20 years ago now? 2004. 2004 is the marker as my strongest year on record. And still, the ego remains in control. We didn't push up very high. We went as high as we had to because we didn't have uh, a midpoint. We didn't have a five point increase for pullover, so we had to go with 10. And with that, I humbly thank you as always for watching, thumbs up, maybe take a subscription with you and uh, share with friends, maybe somebody who likes this kind of stuff. As always, I appreciate you and we'll see you next workout. Thick Back Tuesday coming.